<laughs> We're here at Digital Hollywood Fall 2013 with Charlie Etcheberry, who was with uh, some really major media companies uh, in the um, uh, digital and Hispanic markets, both with Disney and Univision, and now he's advising top tier clients in the cross section of Hispanic and digital. So tell us a little bit more about this. Thank you, Maria. So I run a strategic advisory that's focused really at the intersection of all things Hispanic and digital. At the end of the day, I have two different kinds of clients. There are companies that are already in the multicultural or Hispanic space, but they're looking to grow and accelerate their businesses. And there are companies that are not in the U.S. Hispanic space, but know that they need to get in it, and they need a plan, a strategy, and a, a really a deployment organization to do that and tackle the market, and that's what I help them with. And based on some of the findings here in the conference, we started a Hispanic track this, this time around. Uh, it seems that the Hispanic mobile market is quite interesting. It seems to be over-indexing to the Anglo market in, in many of the categories. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. And, and this is actually a very interesting thing because um, when I first got into the business, you were still convincing people that uh, you know, Hispanics actually had devices of any kind, computers, mobile phones, whatever. And that was not long ago. You know, this was five, six, seven years ago that you were still having those conversations to today where Hispanics are really driving consumption and are the very, very tip of the spear across all these different platforms. Mobile specifically is a, uh, a very prominent um, screen, if you will, for this U.S. Hispanic audience. Ultimately, it is kind of their first screen. It's the one that they interact with the most. And you can say that about other groups. It's the degree to which they interact with this uh, platform that makes them different. So as part of a U.S. Hispanic strategy, that really needs to be a primary component of the And if someone is, is hoping to launch maybe a multi-channel network or something in the Hispanic marketplace, what are some of the words of wisdom you may give to them today? Well, um, you know, U.S. Hispanic is uh, it's an interesting field right now, and uh, I think that, you know, actually I have a panel coming up that addresses this topic. The, the landscape used to be dominated, or, or has historically been dominated, by endemic players, people who really tailor to uh, Spanish language content and are reaching a um, you know, Spanish dominant consumer, if you will. But there's also been this huge explosion in bilingual and bicultural uh, Hispanics in this country. And also, the behavior of some of the Span Spanish dominant folks um, has changed and evolved over time. So, I think that there's a great opportunity for the platforms. Uh, that's the subject of my panel coming up. People who already have the install base by virtue of either a technology play uh, or a data play or whatever it might be, but people who are already reaching this Hispanic audience, but they haven't isolated them, they haven't packaged them, they haven't brought them to the surface. Um, I think that's the next big sort of area of movement, and you're seeing this with a lot of big platform companies that are moving into the space for the very first time. Google, Facebook, um, you know, a lot of, of, of other platforms, Videology, uh, you know, Tube Mobile. These are folks who haven't historically tackled this marketplace. They have the Hispanic audience, and now they're speaking to them for the first time. And it's just been a fascinating learning experience for me about that marketplace that seems to be growing at about 60 plus percent a year. It's it's very it's it's moving very quickly, obviously. I mean, across every category, the thing that you know, in in a way, you feel a little disingenuous in the U.S. Hispanic marketplace talking about growth because if you look at every category of spend, you look at most platforms. Really, Hispanics are the highest value prospects. They're the best customers out there. So even if they spoke. Dutch, it doesn't matter. They're just really high value prospects, and ultimately, I think that's what marketers want to reach. And that's an ideal marketplace. Yes. Thank you for sharing that with us and for stopping by. Thank you very much. Sure. Okay. Yeah, what am I with now? All right, thanks a lot. Sure. Your next one, okay. We're just going to jump with Kennedy. As soon as you said yes, I never say yes to anything until she.